Hello everyone, Anita here from Fixer Crash, and today I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Mavic Pro gimbal assembly. Um, this video will show you how to replace you know, the ribbon cable or the metal cable, and also if you wanted to replace the gimbal vibration board and the anti-drop hook, that will show, this video will show you that as well. Uh, this video assumes that you already have taken the gimbal out of the drone, but if not, you can click on the link in the description below, and there should be a video that shows you how to remove the gimbal from the drone. Um, yeah, now let's get started. So for this project, you will need a PH0 driver, a PH000 driver, a pry tool, and I always like to have a set of precision tweezers on hand. We have this gimbal here. The owner was holding it and it had a small drop, so the ribbon cable is actually torn right here. So anyway, the first step we're going to we're going to take is we're going to remove these two cables here. So we can use our pry tool and there should be a tab on the side of the metal cable and that should just lift right up. And also we're going to take out this connector here. We want to remove these connectors just so that um, the camera is easier to work with when we're working on it and we don't damage anything in the meantime. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our PH0 driver and we're going to move these screws here, one, two, and three. And with that, we should be able to remove the main circuit board for the camera. Now with the screws taken out, we can go ahead and remove the main circuit board. And we can set those aside with the three screws. All right, so the next step we can take is to remove the anti-drop hook right here. Um, if you don't need to replace that part, feel free to skip this step but we'll go ahead and remove it for this video. So we have these two screws here, and we're just gonna go ahead and take those out with the PH0 driver. And there it is, it should pop right out. And there's the anti-drop hook. If uh, this anti-drop hook breaks, Usually what the problem it causes, it causes um, the jello gimbal effect, so you would want that replaced if you wanted to repair that. Next step we're going to take is we're going to remove this gimbal vibration board from these rubber dampers right here. What I like to do is I like to take my set of precision tweezers and I just like to kind of Put the tip in there, stretch it out a little bit, and just peel it off from the, uh, the little legs. After all four of them are removed, this base mount should just come right off. So now what we have left is the camera and gimbal, of course, and the gimbal vibration board. So there's two screws here, and what we're going to do is we're going to hold it right here, just, just so that you know everything's stable, and we're going to take our PH0 driver, and we're going to remove these two screws here. Now I would recommend untightening both of them first, especially if you don't have a broken ribbon cable and then removing them because pretty much what could happen is if you take one screw out first and then remove the second one when it untightens this thing could kind of do that and potentially tear the ribbon cable so just go ahead and take those out yep and that should just come off And there's the gimbal vibration board with these two little screws. So now that we have the gimbal vibration board out, we are going to take out the gimbal screws. And from this point on, we're going to start using the Phillips 000 driver. And um, all of these gimbal screws should be the same size. There are two screws on the side of the camera that are going to be slightly longer. These two here. 
and also there's some motor screws that we aren't going to take out but if you do take note that they are just a little bit shorter than the gimbal screws so we're going to start with these two screws here just go ahead and take those out and once you have those two screws out this cover just lifts right off next step we're going to take is we're going to remove this screw right here and that cover just comes right off. Uh, for now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the ribbon cable in place as well as the metal cable just in that way um, the cables won't be moving around while we're working on it at the very end we'll take them out. The next step we're going to take is we're going to remove three screws and those three are here, here, and here. So just go ahead and remove those three. And then once those three are removed, we're going to go ahead and, you know, use our fingernail or pry tool or whatever. There's going to be a little tab kind of right here where the metal cable leads into. You're just going to lift that up a little and kind of follow the path a little bit and just make sure that comes out. And then you're going to go to the other end of that piece and just lift up the motor here. And that comes out. Now that we have that kind of crescent shaped piece out, we're going to turn it this direction and we're going to remove these two screws right here. this off. So now what I'm going to show you is how to remove the black ribbon cable. This part is mostly just to show you what the cable paths are so it's easier for you to put them back together you know in the right in the right way. So this here is how the camera normally looks you know camera top of the gimbal assembly and um, of course we have the black ribbon cable and this one's ripped, but this is how you know it should look. So we're going to turn it this direction. And we're going to remove this adhesive here. And it's at the side or whatever you want to do with it. And then we're going to take out this connector here. Pry tool is kind of big for this, so I'm going to use my tweezers. And there's a little bit of blue, so just make sure that's out of the way. There you go. Take that out. Peels up. And as you can see, this comes out and makes this curve from that direction. The next place the connector is, okay. It looks like that. And the next place the connector is, is right here. Let's go ahead and take that out. And the rest of this ribbon cable kind of goes to this gap here and comes out on the other side. So we're going to take a look at the very back here, and that's where the last connector is. Let's go ahead and take that one out. Alright, now that this portion is out, I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off a little bit. And as you can see, it follows this piece of the motor in a curve and kind of does a little loop back. And that's where the second connector is. It goes through this hole and connects into there. And then the rest of the cable goes up through here and around 
this motor, sort of, and then bends back and goes onto there. So hopefully that helps when you're trying to put it back together. Yeah. And then the last two screws of the gimbal screws that are the same. It's right here. You can take those two out. So now with these two screws out, we're going to go ahead and take off this piece here. Instead of lifting up like the other parts, it's going to slide out a bit this way. So we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure in this direction. And yeah, it should come out just like that. We'll go ahead and remove the two camera screws on the side here and here. Um, do you remember that these two screws are different than the gimbal screws? So make sure to keep those separate. So now with these two screws removed, the two side camera screws, we're going to remove the camera from the gimbal. And how we're going to do that is the camera slides out this direction from the gimbal. What we're going to do is we're going to get a good comfortable grip on it so it doesn't slip while we're working. And the camera is going to separate from the gimbal at this line here. Uh, this one may take a bit of time, you know, just uh, kind of be gentle with it. And what I like to do first is I like to remove this extra glue here. Make sure that, you know, if you're taking this out, especially with tweezers, that you're not caught on one of these strands of metal while you're doing it. Otherwise, that could tear, of course. Now that we have all the glue removed, we can go ahead and separate the camera from the gimbal. So go ahead and get a nice steady grip on it. And I'm going to take my pry tool, and I'm going to insert it in this gap here. And this doesn't require a lot of pressure, pressure, so very gently just give it a twist and the camera should kind of pop right off. Just like that. And now that we have the camera off, we can go ahead and take off the metal cable, just as we did on the main circuit board. We're going to go ahead and kind of reach under on the side and lift up that tab. And the cable comes right out. So for this part of the video, I'm going to show you the path of this metal cable here. So, of course we have this part and it goes up through this gap here. There's a part there that holds it down and kind of goes around this motor and into this crevice here. And you know, as you're putting it back together, you would screw these parts back in to help hold it in for you, but for now I'm just showing you the path. It goes, follows this crevice here. turn and there you have that and then this just goes like this through here and of course there's a part that holds it down right here and there you have it the top of the gimbal and that's where the ribbon cable would be protruding you know the fills there and that's it just follow whatever steps you need in reverse order and you'll have your gimbal back together in no time. Don't forget to hit subscribe and happy flying!